This is Matt Drinkon here to talk to you about what does it take to be a business coach? What does it take? It takes some grit. It takes some hustle. It takes some getting knocked down and getting back up again. I'm going to outline three things that I feel it takes to be a successful business coach in today's world. To start off, it's got to take a commitment to whoever it is that you're coaching. That commitment to be able to hold them, to own their actions, and when they're not following through, to figure out a way to communicate with them, to get them to understand how to do it. It takes walking the walk. You don't see a whole lot of coaches out there who last, who aren't drinking their own Kool-Aid, who aren't working hard on themselves to be the best they can be. I've never found a coach who doesn't have a good library in their house. Uh, with some great books to read, you know, who, who isn't listening to a good book on Overdrive or on Audible. So you have to walk the walk. Uh, the third thing is it takes a method and a process. When someone is paying you hundreds of thousands of dollars to help their organization develop, or if they're paying you one-on-one -on -one to help them overcome a challenge that they have in their business system, or even if it's a life coach working with someone through uh, some philosophy they have or some way that they are with people in relationships, there's got to be a method, a consistent way that's proven to get your results. If it's just go and have a nice frou-frou, nice conversation with people, I don't think a lot of nice conversations get results. That's why people pay coaches. And that's also why some of us get a bad name out there is because anyone nowadays can strap a life coach onto their website, onto their, their profile and think they're a coach. You know, what is the method for doing that? So it takes a commitment to the people that you're coaching to help them. It takes walking the walk and continuing to be a lifelong learner yourself. And it takes a method or a process that's proven to win. And along the way, I think that one of the important things that sometimes is forgotten is let's always make sure that if you're a coach, that you can back up the things you're talking about, that you can give some credibility to the statements you're making, that you can share, here are some of the results. You can share, for example, that you've recruited a couple thousand people to work in your company. Uh, you've, you can also share that you've had the privilege of training uh, over 115 executive assistants, for example. Or you can say something in the measure of, you know, I've personally sold hundreds of millions of dollars of product. You know, those are things that when you can back up your coaching with a little bit of credibility, that right there goes a long way. If you can point to your client logos and say, these are the people that I coach and here are their names, they'd love to hear from you, or have videos of those people on your website to display, or some testimonials written down, that right there is what the, your, your prospects and your clients love to see, that you've done this before. That gives them certainty. If there's a place to take a note right now, here's the place. Write this down. I heard this, and I've always remembered it. Your certainty must be greater than their doubt. Your certainty must be greater than their doubt. When you're that certain and you believe in your process and you're continuing to grow yourself and you're going to do anything you possibly can within your own value system to help that client win and, and succeed the way they want to, when you can do those things and you have the credibility and your certainty is high, you'll make a great coach. I know you will. Make it a great day, team.